coal is king in the state of West Virginia. My son-in-law is an underground coal miner. My father and grandfather both were coal miners. And my husband was a very proud coal miner. He died of black lung. I'll wave at you when I get to the water. Okay. Hey. Bye, baby. Have a Bye. good day. salvage the coal and they destroy everything else. Nothing can survive with what's left. The mountains all around, they've all been destroyed. It's the last one here. My husband built this house. They don't have a right to take that away. Imagine this massive industry. Billions of dollars that they spend to extract the coal from this region. And imagine a community that comes together and says there's another way to do this. With Coal River Mountain, there's an opportunity to develop a wind farm. But there are barriers to that. Roland Land Company owns the property, and Massey has leased the right to mine that coal. Lorella Scarborough understands that if we're going to get beyond our past, we need to do something different. There's cake, there's cobbler, there's windmill cookies. Everybody has to have a windmill cookie. First and foremost is it will save the mountain. We can produce renewable energy on that mountain instead of having it leveled. I'm not against coal. Strip miners are not coal miners. Strip miners are nothing but blasting the tops of the mountains off. A coal miner is what Roger did and my dad did. That went into the bowels of the earth and they mined the coal. And when they left, our beautiful mountains were still there. What we need to tell those young miners is 20 years from now, Laura, you said it, what are you going to do? I will continue to fight, not just for my home, not just for this cemetery where my husband's buried, but for clean water for my six-year-old granddaughter. And if there's an honorable man out there, you need to be fighting for clean water for your grandchildren also. That's what it's about. Mr. Petrillo, this is Lorella Scarborough again, calling to see if you've had an opportunity to speak with the governor to see if we're going to get five minutes of his time today. It's not possible for you to meet with the governor today. Well, with all due respect, Mr. Petrillo, he's the boss of the people that issued this permit. He has the power to rescind this permit. Well, I understand what you're saying to me, and certainly there's a lot of merit to the project you're suggesting, and the governor's aware of that. But Mr. Petrillo, if he doesn't do something by Wednesday, it's too late. I understand what you're telling me. And I'm not saying that we can or cannot do anything. We're certainly investigating that and would like to do something about it if we can. We want to ask the governor today if he will declare a state of emergency and rescind the permits on Coal River Mountain. The whole world is watching, Governor Manchin. We'll know exactly what you are allowing to happen in the state of West Virginia or, or what you are willing to stop. My friends and I aren't leaving until you protect Coal River Mountain. Well, then you're going to be here for a long time. Let's get these out. Stand by here. Close it off. Stand why can't the media be in here while you're
as the energy is blasting Coal River Mountain. If we stop, they win. So we can't stop. Look at Kevin. Let's <laughs> see. Six pounds, ten ounces. <laughs> it's my so brother. He says, I Does was he have right here where they even mm -hmm. got me Does he out. have hair? Peach fuzz. Oh. <laughs> My grandchildren are the reason why I do what I do. Lisa. It is about the, the next generation and the next generation and what's going to be left for them.